another testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? This has been a round of the century. I was not supposed to win this. So now you guys are listening because we did win. And I can glorify God the way I want to glorify him. Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. We are back with another episode of Quick Hits. It is good to be back. Um, we're going to have a fun show today. Mauricio Suleiman um, might have got himself in some legal hot water. If I was Devin Haney, I would sue him. Uh, but before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, follow us on all forms of social media, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Um, also, please subscribe to the other channel. Uh, Texas Boxing Scene, or proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. Uh, some excellent uh, new content up on that channel, and we'll be adding more over the next few days. Um, all right, let's get into today's show. Mauricio Solomon came out and said he wanted to clarify. Um, and he said that Cambosis is the undisputed champion. Um, Mauricio Solomon, the president of the WBC, Obviously, there's a a, 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 a a feud, confusion with Devin Haney, who has a, the WBC uh, lightweight title. Uh, apparently, Cambosis has the franchise belt. Um, this goes back a while to when it was Lomachenko's belt. Lomachenko lost it to Tio. Tio now lost it to Cambosis. And there was confusion at that particular time where the Tio and Loma were fighting for the undisputed. Um, um, uh, the undisputed lightweight title. It was WBC online. Um, originally, um, Mauricio Suleiman said um, that, that the franchise belt is his designation, that the belt wasn't on the line. And then he said, but if this fight would have happened, if Lomachenko would have fight Lopez or you know something along those lines, it would be for Undisputed. Um, I remember the interview this a couple of years ago to, to Ness, the boxing voice about two years ago, it made no sense. Then it makes less sense. Now, now there's dire confusion. Um, you know, most of uh, ESPN, um, you know, uh, the ring, they, they're not recognizing Cambosis as a four belt undisputed champion. They're not recognizing him as a WBC champion. And I, 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 I don't know what to make of that. But now Mauricio Suleiman, the president of the WBC. So you're getting it from the horse's mouth saying, yes, he's a WBC champion. So my question, I don't know, the obvious question is, what does that make Devin Haney? Um, if Cambosis is undisputed, that means there's, there's no dispute. No one can, no, no one can say he doesn't. He, he doesn't have a legitimate claim to all the belts. It's undisputed. There's no dispute. But if I was Devin Haney, I would dispute that, right? You know, they, they, they made Devin Haney a while ago an email champion, and then they made him a two-time WBC email champion, um, which is very impressive. Um, two-time email champion. <laughs> um, <laughs> but Devin Haney is an excellent fighter, right? So now we have um, Devin Haney, who thinks he's a WBC champion for good reason. You have T.P. Lopez, who thinks not. Now you have George Cambosis, who thinks he's a WBC champion. And Mauricio Solomon has sided with um, Devin Haney. Now, no one asked the follow up question. As Mauricio Solomon has sided, sided with George Cambosis. George Cambosis is undisputed. That means Devin Haney, by definition, that means Devin Haney has no claim to the WBC belt because he's undisputed. There's no dispute. Uh, if I'm Devin Haney, what am I paying sanctioning fees for? I I'm paying world champions usually, and, and I, I don't know what the purse, what, what he's paying. Typically, they're 3%. I'm paying 3% of my purse for what? I thought I was a champion. That's a fraud. I, I mean, I I'm not a lawyer. Don't I, I don't know how that's not. I'm taking 3% of your money, big purse, million dollar purses to sanction you in a world title fight. But it's not a world title fight? Or what are you saying? You better start explaining. I think Mauricio Sullivan might have bit off a little more than he can chew here. I, I mean, at the WBA had things with regular champions, and, and but then there was no, no one was undisputed. They said we had, you know, two belts. <laughs> you know, 
I, I don't know. Like, that was ridiculous. But this is more absurd because he is saying that he is undisputed. Zuliman made no uncertainties. Cambosis is undisputed. Huh. Huh. What does that make Devin Haney? Hot. If I'm Devin Haney, I assume. I, 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 I call him up. We got to have a three-way call here. Me, George, and, uh, and Mauricio, if I'm Devin Haney. And this needs to be clarified. Who is the WBC champion? If I'm not the WBC champion and I'm Devin Haney, I, I, you owe me some money. Because <laughs> I've been paying sanctioning fees as if these were world title fights. Apparently they weren't. No, no, you owe me some money. Um, because you've defrauded me. I, I don't know, again, how that would not fit the textbook definition of fraud. Uh, this is going to be, if, if, and, and this is only an issue if Haney pushes it. If they start recognizing Cambosis as the world champion and kind of push Haney to the side, which I don't think they're going to do, they're going to try to keep playing both sides of this. But you can't say he's undisputed. If if Devin Haney has a claim, if he has a dispute, if he says, no, I'm the WBC champion, then it's no longer undisputed by definition. <laughs> boxing, boxing is, is great. Uh, I mean, what other sport has this, right? Like the Bucks beat the Suns of the world champion, right? You don't have some other team come out of the woodwork and say, wait a second. I was told I was the NBA champion. Boxing. Gotta love it. Uh, but let me just what you guys think. You guys agree with me? Do you think Devin Haney's been defrauded here? Do you think Devin Haney has a, a, a legal case here against Mauricio Suleiman? Do you think Mauricio Suleiman has bit off way too much he can chew with this? And he's got himself in, you know, not just kind of hot water with the fighters, like no one's going to respect you anymore, but legal hot water as well, where he can, might be sued for fraud. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. Please follow me on all forms of social media, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Um, also, please subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing the Scene, completely dedicated Texas Boxing. Um, it's at all proceeds to go to autism research and recovery. Also, prayers to the Morales family, the legendary Eric Morales. Uh, tragic news, his son, 23 years old, passed away, I think, today. Um, so prayers for his family. Um, it is December 1st. Uh, 2021. Ivan Calderon is still not in the Boxing Hall of Fame. And we're going to find out soon if he is. And if he's not, we need to get Ivan Calderon in the Boxing Hall of Fame. Uh, from Texas to the world, thank you and God bless.